Hello and welcome to Instructor Points. So today our agenda is to understand more about IBM Cognos Analytics, which is basically one of the business intelligence tool that is used to convert raw data into meaningful information. So firstly, we need to understand what are the points we are going to discuss. So in that, firstly, we understand what is business intelligence. Then we understand what is IBM Cognos, why we are going to use IBM Cognos Analytics. What are the different components in IBM Cognos? Why we are going to create a dashboard? How to convert the raw data into meaningful information? Reporting, like how uh, we are gaining some detail, more detail about the graphs and visualization which we are going to use to implement our data into the form of different visualization. Analysis, what is the analysis? How we are analyze, analyze our data. Different uh, vendors, business intelligence vendors are there like Tableau, ClickSense, other uh, BI vendors are also there. And what are the different advantages of Cognos? So these all things will be, uh, which will be covered by us in this video and uh, in the comment section you can comment like if you have any doubts so you put your comment into the comment section and uh, we will come with the uh, IBM Cognos Analytics series so in that you will understand the entire idea about like how to create a IBM Cognos uh, analytic account and also uh, in that we will discuss each and every element of our IBM Cognos Analytic tool understand that and also we will create some different uh, dashboards and I will also tell you like uh, how to create a reports and analyze the data how to perform different operations uh, in IBM Cognos Analytics. So first uh, uh, I will brief each and every part of uh, the points which is uh, will be discussed today. So business intelligence is basically a set of process or the architecture and technologies. So that is basically used to convert the raw data into meaning in, meaningful information that basically help to drive the profitable business action. So this is a suite of software and the services to transform the data into actionable intelligence and knowledge. Suppose this is a raw data. So this data can be cannot be understand by the person or any other. So if we want to understand, so we need to perform a data pre-processing. Once we perform the data pre-processing, so we can understand, okay, this data is basically for the sales region Northwest and this data is for particular store and the store name is Supermart S123. What is the 128 soap and 1.29? So this is basically we are not able to understand. Now. So need to understand with the help of BI tool, we can perform a data pre-processing and understand item number is representing like 128, 678. These are the elements which comes under the item name and these are the in units which were sold for this particular product. So why BI is important? So BI is has a, a direct impact on organization, strategic and operational business decision. So that is basically BI supports fact-based decision making using historical data rather than assumption so in a company there is an historical data we are going to perform and analyze the previous data and based on that we will take a business decision to generating more revenue customer satisfaction and other things so with the help of bi tool we can perform data analysis create different reports summaries dashboard different visualization in the form of maps graph and chart that provides user with detailed intelligence about the nature of business and they can understand it easily. Now if we discuss about IBM Cognos Analytics, so IBM Cognos Analytics is one of the business intelligence tool in the market that is basically a web based reporting and analytic tool. So you can also download the IBM Cognos Analytics in your local system but it may require 16 GB of RAM. So I recommend to all of you like to use the IBM Cognos Analytics service in a cloud based platform. So that is basically provide us the rich feature like data aggregation, create user friendly detailed report about your dashboard 
and you can also export your uh, dashboard or download your dashboard in the form of PDF. So that is very easy. And Cognos is basically providing some important features like it offers real time events, alerts and notification in the IBM Cognos Analytics dashboard. It also provide personalized and progressive interaction so you can easily customize it according to the business requirement. Drill through uh, capability is also there. So drill through and drill up I will tell you when we are moving on to the practical part. It is basically a platform independent. You can easily scalable and uh, reliable. So suppose if there is a business requirement uh, uh, for using the Cognos Analytics for more than 100 users. So in that case, you can easily scale it and you can also uh, it is very easy to use. You can easily understand the entire thing about IBM Cognos Analytics when we move on to the practical part. So we'll wait for the next videos for IBM Cognos Analytics series. So this basically uh, this is known as the BI tool. So in that what you can do you can create a dashboard. You can report you can create a report report is basically the detailed information about the graph. You can analyze your data and integrate your data with different platforms like MySQL Oracle different uh, databases are there different platform like Slack channel is there. So you can also integrate it with IBM Cognos Analytics. Different components in Cognos like Cognos Connection, Cognos Business Insight, Cognos Query Studio, Analysis Studio and Report Studio. So I will brief each and every point here. So Cognos Connection is basically a web portal that allow the user to access the Cognos uh, in cloud-based platform. So basically in that Cognos Connection based on the role that is has been assigned you can use this component to retrieve to view, publish, manage and organize the reports and dashboard. And in Cognos Business Insight, so Cognos Business Insight basically offers to user to create their dashboard using any object. So in that all the content which the user is permitted to view will be presented as an object in that case. So this is basically we are going to use for create a fully customized dashboard. So it comes under the business insight. Now if we talk about Cognos Query Studio. So Cognos Query Studio basically help the business users to get the fast answers. How it is possible? So it is basically possible with the help of IBM Watson Assistant which is comes under the IBM Cognos Analytics. So you can also put your queries onto the IBM assistant and they will recommend you the best graph and best uh, graph for uh, your dashboard creation and it is also recommended to you to create a dashboard and it also help us to compare between two different graphs. So each and every part of Cognos will be covered. I will tell you like how you can use the IBM Watson uh, is to, uh, like IBM Watson assistant in IBM Cognos analytic tool how to explore your data understand and how to prepare the data before moving on to creation of dashboard. What is Cognos analysis studio so that studio basically help the businesses to find and focus on the things which are very much important for any business to take decision and based on that decision they can enhance their business performance in various uh, domains we can say that. And if we talk about Cognos Report Studio, so Report Studio is basically used to provide the detailed information about your dashboard. So it allow you to create a different chart, map, list or any other available, uh, available uh, report which is basically used from different data sources. So this is all about the components which is present under the Cognos. Now what is the next step after that? So once you find your data from external sources, so you can upload it or you can also connect the database with IBM Cognos Analytics so you can fetch the data in real time. So dashboard is basically an end-to-end -end data visualization capabilities where you can 
visualize your different charts and based on that chart any data analyst can easily understand like what are the different steps or different operations they need to perform to increase their revenue and also enhance the business performance and customer satisfaction so firstly you need to upload the data then you need to choose the template so different template are there blank template is there so many different template you can also uh, download uh, the template from outside and use the custom template in ibm cosmos analytics different visualization are there like comparison graph is there uh, network relationship graph is there maps graph is there trend graph is there so we can also understand the each and every visualization which is present in ibm cognos analytics like when we are you going to use the comparison graph so bar graph or column uh, column chart is basically used to compare between two different data then we after creation of visualization we are moving on to creation of dashboard so once you create your dashboard you can share the, your dashboard with your friends and uh, uh, with your colleagues so for that you need to click on to the share icon and when you click on to the share icon you will have an option to email your dashboard you can also embed your dashboard with the uh, your website and you can also share your dashboard in the form of pdf so these all the important steps which i told you now will we cover when we are moving on to the practical part now i already told you the report is basically an end to end visualization capabilities like dashboard but it is in the form of more detailed manner so this is basically the report and this is the dashboard so in this dashboard these are the three different graphs so suppose you want to get the information so any user can easily understand what this graph is basically representing so suppose if the graph is representing the hotel occupancy detail so in that when the person comes onto the dashboard they can analyze their data with the help of visualization but they move on to the report so they can understand what this graph is basically representing so it is very easy to provide the detailed information about the uh, like visualization of your graph in the report now if we talk about the analysis part so analysis is basically one of the important part when we are working on the business intelligence tool or in the data analytics or in the business analytics so firstly you need to source your data from different external sources or internal sources of the company then you clean your data so once you clean your data then you are able to perform the exploratory data analysis or we can say that analyzing your data once you analyze your data you are moving on to the next step that is basically an interpret your data when we are moving on to the visualization so once you come on to the visualization your data and follow all the process of data analysis you will get entire overview about your business understanding and visualize your data accordingly so this is basically provide the valuable insight that drive smarter and more effective business decision once you analyze your data visualize your data so the company or the business can take a decision very easily and other bi tools are there like power bi click sense looker and tableau these are basically also the competitive tool in the market that is used and but the ibm cognos analytics is one of the best tool in the market now which help you to integrate a uh, different visualization with the help of ibm watson assistant so once you write so the graph between sales and profit so in that case they can also provide you the insight about your data so what are the different benefit of using uh, ibm cognos so there are a lot of benefits of using so you can publish and uh, you can enable by secure bi portal because you are using onto the cloud so if you are having an uh, authorized credential then you can easily publish and you can uh, share it into the secure bi portal cognos bi basically provide the limitless workspace whenever you want to whenever the company having a requirement to scale their cognos so they can also do the same thing 
and uh, also there is an IBM Cognos community which will always ready to help you out there. It is basically analyze the fact and uh, strategic implement implications and it also allow you to integrate and link the analytics solution and process. So basically once you complete with your data uh, visualization and now uh, all these things it also offer the transparency and accountability to drive the alignment for taking a business decision and it also reduce the time to take decision by accessing the data and uh, uh, it also support the RDBMS which is relational database management system to persist that data is related to content management and creation of reporting. So this is all about like IBM Cognos. If you have any question, you can put your queries into the comment box. We will definitely help you out there and we will soon launch our video series for IBM Cognos analytics. So for further updates, please like and subscribe our channel and share the videos if you like. Thank you.